Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about using UiPath Studio to get all the files in a particular directory. In this example, I'm just going to get all the files in a directory and print out their names, but what you do with the files is really up to you. So we're going to start this off by creating a new process project, and I'll call it Get All My Files. I'm just going to get all my files in a particular folder. Now when the project gets created, I'm going to open up the main workflow window, and I'm going to, I'm going to do this as efficiently as possible. I'm going to click on the Activities tab, and I'm going to look for a For Each loop. And there's the For Each loop. And what I want to do is I want to loop through every single file that is in a given folder. And I've actually got a folder here named, what's the name of my folder? I think I got it right off the C drive and it's called text files. And I'll show it to you right here. There's one, two, three, four, five different files in it. And this is the file that I'm going to actually pull in. So C colon slash text files. If, it's, uh, if the folder is inside of your project, you don't have to specify the full path, but otherwise you do. Okay, so for each file that is in the directory, directory is an object that's available to you automatically anywhere inside of your sequences. And there's a method called get files, which couldn't be easier. Get files, and I want to get all of the files that are inside of C text files. Yeah, that looks good for each file that is inside of the text files. Now, file right there, I believe that is going to be declared as an object unless you specify string. So I'm just going to move that down to string. And so now I've got every file inside of this directory, C text files. I'm just going to do something. I'm just going to write out the name of the file. And there's a write activity. And there's write line. You can add that in there. And that file variable, that just represents the name of the file. And so now you'll see that what happens is when I run this, it's just going to pull in each of the files. And in this case, just write the name of them. And you can do whatever you want with the files. You can parse them. You can screen scrape them. You can um, uh, open up the file and inspect the file. Um, but here we're just going to keep it simple. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to click Run. And you'll see that it's now printed out the name of all of the different files that are in my file folder. And looking at text files, you can see constant Java, Git shell, June, Scrum, Scrum. It all looks really, really good there. Now, one other thing I will do is I'll just take this. And you can actually put that folder inside of the project. I'm going to find the project here. What was the name of my project? Get all my files. There it is there. I'll paste that folder name text files inside of the project. And now if I actually just say the name text files, I don't have to do the full path. I should get the same thing working. Now actually I'll actually change one of the names here just so that we know that it is indeed working. But I'll click run. And when it runs, you do see that it's now pulled in the local files. So you can see that X const in Java proving that, yeah, I'm pulling the local files in. And there you go. And there you go. That's how you get all the files in a directory with UiPath. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. You can follow my personal antics on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.